Hi all, welcome to my channel. This is John's Model Making, and today we're in my hobby room, and we've received today the next issues for the Spitfire issues 55, 56, 57, and 58. Today we're going to be doing issues 55 and 56, and we start off with the right wing flap. That's Brill. I think we'll also have a look at the magazine afterwards because what I do like about these hachette uh, builds of the magazine, same as the Rootmaster, was the actual uh, rice ups that they have. Very historical, obviously, with the Spitfire, same as the Rootmaster, but very, very interesting. So we'll have a look at that later anyway. Anyway, besides all that, let's get on with the build. Okay, so let's do a quick parts check. We have the right wing flap. Metallic, looking very nice. DTD 517S. The arm of hinge 5502 and 5503. Again, let's just say the two metallic metal hinges and then the covers. Plus a couple of pins and now we will need a bit of glue today so I've got that already handy okay let's see let's see put these two on the side for now first things first you need to identify these hinges that one has a number six on it that one has a number five on it and we need this one first off we need the pins let's get the pins out only got two. Well, that should be enough. Basically, put the pin through there. There we go. And it just falls out. But it should go in there. And oh, well, we know where it goes. Basically. So, what we need is the wing flap. Now we need to do this properly 5502 and the pin 5505 the pops just the like so but that is the wrong way around so we pop it round like so let's get the orientation right of the hinge and then we need to do the same with the second hinge which has a number six on it and it basically goes that way like so onto the hinge onto sorry onto the flap that is them two in place now what we need to do take off these covers off the sprue one's got r2 on it and the other, I presume, has R1 on it, which is ours. Now, R2 goes on 55 or 2, so we can do a test fit on this. So basically, get that there, put that there, fits in nicely. And the same with that one. That is how it will look once we've got it glued in place. So let's get the glue. Now the awkward thing about this, if you don't get the hinges right the first time, you're going to have a little bit of problem getting them off because you've got a super glue in place. Now you don't need too much glue, but it seems to be definitely know how it goes. We're not going to get this wrong, are we? Oh, yeah pin sits into that little channel there and the wing flap give that a little bit more should be plenty there now and then pop on there we go hold that down for a second once we're doing that we can take the other one off 
and glue that one in place. It's exactly the same as the other flap that we did previously. There we go, that should be enough. Yeah, the hinge the correct way around, pop it in that little channel there, and then put on the hinge cover. There we go. It should be nice and glued in place there. Eh? There we go. That one's a bit more freer than that one. Well, that's no worry. It's obviously not glued in place. Brilliant. On to the next step now. This is where we need the plane. And here she comes. to do is make sure that tube is in between what they call two elements basically the guides so as it doesn't move too much and we pop this here and here there we go like so and now we need to screw it in place Let's get the screws out. Right. There we go. Let's just get one side in. There we go. There she is. Four screws all together. That is that for that issue. So we've got both wing flaps now. There we are. Excellent. Doesn't she look gorgeous? Really looking forward to getting this completed. Doesn't seem to be taking forever today, but um, we're done. That is that for issue 55. Now we can do issue 56 let's get straight on to her and here she is it's a mortar this is for the wing flaps basically and all we have to do on this issue is put that label on that cable just like we have done previously with these two mortars there and there so we've not got a great lot to do which can be a little frustrating really considering all we want to do is move on with the builders and get uh, get as much builds as possible I do get a little bit impatient like that I think we all do especially when we get so far into our build and basically we have the mortar which is 5601 and the label is 5602 and basically it is telling us to put the label just there near the plug and folder around 
No. Do 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 do. There she goes. M6. Lovely jubbly. There we go, that is it. That, I'm afraid, is issue 56 complete. There we go, I've got some glue on the back of here for the contacts. And some screw holes here and here. And obviously, that cog there looks like it's on the shaft of the mortar. I think she's going to go here somewhere in the middle. Anyway, that is that. Issue 56 and issue 55 completed. So I think what we can do at this point is have a quick look at the magazines and see what is in of interest. Because uh, issue 55 is a Spitfire X11, the Spitfire 12. I think this is the prototype for the first Griffin engine. So there's a good write up on that. Spitfire X11 MB882 of number 41 Squadron of Friston in Sussex in the summer of 1943. The aircraft is fitted with a streamlined external fuel tank on its centre line. Uh, yep, the Spitfire X11 or Spitfire 12, as I would translate that. Prototype DP845 in October 1942. It was one of the fastest aircraft in the world at low altitude. In one speed trial in July 1942, DP845 proved to be faster than a typhoon and a captured German FW190. Well, that's cool, that's brilliant. But these, uh, these uh, articles they put in, well, it's historical, isn't it? Um, they're brilliant. We got Raymond Harris, the leading Griffin Spitfire ace, was credited with 10 victories and one shared while flying the Rome Mark 12 on the channel front in 1943. They're always an interesting read. Soviet women pilots, we've got a write up on them. Got four pages worth. And then coming in issue 56 is the mortar, which we know about because we got it here. The only thing in this one, this magazine is obviously, there's nothing to do with the mortar because we're not fit it yet. Um, it talks about the early defence of Darwin, the Spitfire VCs of the Churchill Wing commenced their often troubled defence of Darwin from early 1943. Number 452 Squadron, the Royal Australian Air Force, unit formed within RAF Fighter Command. That's going to be an excellent read. The invasion of Italy, the campaign in Sicily, had ended with a northerly retreat by German forces across the Straits of Messina to mainland Italy. There's a few pages of that, and then the convoy war, keeping Britain supplied. Merchant shipping, four pages of that, plenty of pictures. And coming in issue 57, your know, next set of parts, cogs, housings, and connections for the wing flaps plus a cable with LED lamp and a red lens and I believe that LED lamp goes right in the middle of them two mortars just there you can just see the hole yep between the two cogs there that's where the LED goes And it's uh, this lens. Oh, this piece of cardboard is a bit of rubbish, but it's only temporary. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I was, uh, I love doing these wing flaps. It is coming together again. Uh, I do believe that the wings sit on top of metal. Obviously, these, like you can see, are, um, are plastic. But there's loads of detail on, them and they're beautifully painted. Um, but the top, I believe, are metal. So that's great. Uh, and it looks like all these wires are coming towards the back of the plane so um, they won't go too far that's for certain but uh, obviously there's a circuit board that we need to fit in a future issue let's get all the electronics up and running there's another one so this is going to be gorgeous this is going to be brilliant once we get playing with it 
I know it doesn't fly, but uh, it has um, the stand that comes with it in the final 20 issues, so that should be good with the remote control. That'd be brilliant. Anyway, enough of that. I hope you enjoyed what uh, you've seen today and what you've heard. And if you did, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. It is free to subscribe. You will get notifications of any videos that I post on YouTube. And I hope you do watch them and you come back soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.